to put our hands together Nataka tuunganishe mikono yetu to welcome the grace of the Lord in the house Tukaribishe neema ya Mungu katika nyumba hii Let me tell you Acha nikwambie the grace I am just about to bring to you Neema ambayo niko karibu kuwaleteeni The grace you have never experienced Ni neema hamjawahi iona She he walks in the prophetic voice Anaenda katika sauti ya nabii He is a powerful minister of the gospel Na ni mtumishi wa injili wa nguvu I just met Apostle Mayanja the other day Nimekutana na Apostle Mayanja majuzi But I think I am falling in love with his ministry Lakini naona ninapenda sana huduma yake I think I am just falling in love with his ministry Ninaende you want to put your hands together Hallelujah. and bring this powerful man of God to bring the word of God to us in Jesus name Hallelujah. in Jesus name in Jesus name Amen. come on put your hands together appreciate him in Jesus name Hallelujah. in Jesus name Amen. thank you so much Amen. may the Lord bless you go for it in Jesus name is anybody excited to be in the house of the Lord today? Nasikia kusisimuka kuwa katika nyumba ya Mungu siku ya leo. You then lift up your hands on the top of your head and give the Lord. mikono yetu juu kabisa. Give the Lord a giant clap off. Na tumshangilie Bwana kwa makofi. Hallelujah. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. Do better than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I think before we sit down I want us to pray. Kabla hatujaketi ningetaka tuombe. Let's close our eyes and pray. Tufunge macho yetu tunapoomba. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful gathering. Baba wa mbinguni tunakushukuru kwa kusanyiko hili la ajabu. We thank you for the opportunity to sit under your praise. Asante baba kwa ajili ya uweza wa wao kuketi chini ya uwepo wako. We pray. Tunaomba that in this meeting katika mkutano huu all of us who have gathered on this mountain sote ambao tumekusanyika kwenye mlima huu we will leave this place saying tutatoka hapa tukisema we have been touched by the finger of god tumeguswa na kidole chake mungu may the words that i'm going to speak this day na maneno nitakayosema siku ya leo be acceptable yakubalike in your presence mbele zako in jesus name katika jina la yesu amen amen now you may be seated please. Hallelujah, tunaweza kuketi. In the presence of God. Katika uwepo wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Again I want to say it's a great delight for me. Na tena nataka kusema ni furaha kuu kwangu to be here. Kuwa hapa. At the mountain of deliverance. Katika chini ya mlima wa ukombozi. I register my appreciation. Ninaleta shukurani zangu to Dr. Oracle. Kwa Dr. Oracle to mama. Na kwa mama for inviting me. Kwa ajili ya kunialika. And for believing that I have something to say. Na hata kwa kuniamini kwamba mimi nina jambo la kusema to the city of Nakuru. Katika mji huu wa Nakuru. I understand it's a, this is an interdenominational meeting. Naelewa alisema kwamba huu ni mkutano wa kimataifa. That means we we have come. Na sisi ni mahali tumetoka from various places. Katika maeneo mbalimbali. Let's be the name of Jesus. Nihimidiwe jina la Bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to congratulate all of you. Kwa hivyo ningetaka kuwapongeza nyote. Uh, if I heard correctly kama nilisikia vizuri it is like, it is a, it has been a 10 years journey right imekuwa safari ya miaka 10 as amazing hiyo inashangaza that means you are the right candidate for the next move of god hiyo inamaanisha ninyi ndiyo mnafaa kwa muondoko unaofuata wa mungu 10 is the only number authorized in, in the Bible to open heaven maana 10 ndiyo namba ya pekee imeruhusiwa katika biblia kufungua Jesus, the Bible says in Malachi that when you bring the tenth, maana katika Malaki Biblia inasema ukileta sehemu ya kumi, I will open the windows of heaven. Nitawafungulia madirisha ya binguni. May this season, na wacha kipindi hiki, be the season of your open heaven. Kiwe kipindi chako cha kufunguke wana bingu. May this be the season all the prayers you prayed yesterday. Na hiki kiwe kipindi maumbiote uliomba jana. Be answered. Yajibiwe. Every private promise. Kila 
ahadi katika siri may it become a public testimony iwe ushuhuda hadharani in the name of the lord jesus kwa jina la bwana yesu hallelujah amen i wish my wife was also here mke wangu heri angekuwa hapa to to be part of you ili awe miongoni mwenu uh, uh, kenya gave me a wife kenya ilinipa mke amen The preachers in Kenya used to tell me. Na wahubiri wa Kenya walikuwa wakiniambia we feel that we can the only gift we can give you apostle. Ya kwamba ile tu zawadi tunaweza kukupa apostle is a girl from Kenya. Ni msichana kutoka Kenya. Amen. Amen. So I started looking out. Kwa hivyo nikaanza kuangalia angalia until one girl passed by. Hadi msichana mmoja akapita. And I felt earthquake. Na nikasikia msuko suko wa athi. So my wife is Rachel. Mke wangu anaitwa Rachel. She was formerly Rachel Karioki. Na mbeleni alikuwa akiitwa Rachel Karioki. Now she's Rachel Mayanja. Siku hizi anaitwa Rachel Mayanja. Amen. 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 Blessed be the name of Jesus. Lihimidiwe jina la Bwana. I want to say briefly ningetaka kusema kwa ufupi that i have written some books that i feel so many of you would need ya kwamba nimeandika vitabu ambavyo ninahisi wengi wenu wanapaswa kuvisoma very very important ni muhimu sana amen amen is a book i've written called a prophetic power kuna kitabu kimoja kinaitwa nguvu za unabii of a father's spoken blessing ambazo zinatokana na baraka zinazonenwa na baba The message that I'm going to preach to us. Ujumbe ambao ningetaka kuhubiri kwetu this day. Uko. It will cut across. Uta utaangalia pande zote so that the gentlemen who are here can also be blessed. Ili hata wanaume walio miongoni mwetu pia wabarikiwe. It will minister powerfully. Ni ujumbe ambao utatuhudumia kwa nguvu. To the ladies. Hata kwa akina dada. Is anybody listening to me? Kuna mtu ananisikiza. And then it will minister powerfully. Na ni ujumbe ambao pia utahudumia kwa nguvu. To the men. Wanaume. It is a kind of family thing ni ujumbe ambao ni wa familia hallelujah and it ah. is very very prophetic na ni ujumbe ambao ni wa kiunabii we are going to speak to the atmosphere na tutanenea mazingara we are going to cause things to happen in the realm of the spirit na tutasababisha mambo yatendeke katika ulimwengu wa roho so that after this 10th year ili hata baada ya huu mwaka wa 10 those who knew you waliokujua will have to take time itabidi wachukue muda to ask themselves whether you are the one they used to know kujiuliza kama wewe ni yule yule walijua are you seeing are you seeing what i'm seeing ya kwamba after this meeting kile nimeona baada ya mkutano your neighbor will not be able to recognize you hata jirani yako hata kutambua After this conference baada ya mkutano huu your family line watu wa familia yenu will have to take a dna test ama sasa itabidi wafanye to dna to prove that you indeed came from them ili kudhibitisha hakika wewe ni wa familia yao i want yao. to say to you nataka kukuambia may you become the unique thing wewe uwe kitu cha kipekee that has ever risen in your bloodline ambacho kimewahi toka kwa familia yenu may you become the greatest person wewe uwe mtu mkuu from your mother's womb kutoka kwa tumbo la mama yako in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu now my subject is sasa ujumbe wangu leo becoming utakuwa a person of influence ni wewe kuwa mtu mwenye kuathiri becoming ni wewe kuwa a person of influence mtu ambaye anagusa ama kuathiri in this service katika ibada hii i'm going to shift you nitakuhamisha from favor kutoka kwa kibali to influence na uwe mtu wa kuathiri ama kugusa tell your neighbor i'm shifting andie jirani yako ninahama from favor kutoka kwa kibali to influence niwe mtu wa kuathiri ama when wakibuza. i was young in the lord i never thought there is something that is bigger than favor mimi nilipokuwa bado mchanga katika wokovu sikujua kuna Until kitu kinapita the holy spirit kibali. shed light on the word of god hadi roho mtakatifu akaniangazia katika neno la mungu and he showed me that there is something called influence in the word of god na akanionyesha kuna kitu 
katika neno kinaitwa kuathiri when you get that wewe ukishakipata no power can stop you hakuna nguvu zinaweza kukuzuia somebody shout I'm unstoppable mimi siwezi zuilika amen when you get influence wewe ukifika kiwango cha kuathiri no man can say no to you hakuna mtu anaweza kukukataza lolote whatever you need kila unachohitaji you can get unaweza kukipata women who are here understand me wadada walio hapa mnajua you are not like us men ninyi sio kama sisi wanaume because at least when you were created maana angalau wakati ninyi muliumbwa you came with a certain dose of influence mulikuja na milango kadhaa ya kuweza kuathiri now we are receiving it prophetically lakini sisi wanaume tunapokea kiunabii but after this session you woman even your influence will increase lakini wewe mwanamke hata ukitoka baada ya ibada utaongezeka nikuonyeshe when god created a man wakati mungu alimuumba mwanamume he gave him authority alimpa mamlaka when he created a woman lakini alipomuumba mwanamke he gave her influence alimpa mamlaka ya kuweza kuathiri I'm about to define influence so that you understand what I'm talking about. Na nitakufafanulia vizuri huku kuathiri ni nini ili uweze kunielewa. That's why. Na ndiyo sababu Rachel can cry in my presence. Raeli ama Rachel anezalia mbele zangu and mere tears can cause me to give her what she's looking for na hata machozi yanaweza fanya nimpe kile anataka but when a man cries lakini mwanamume akilia we tell them big boys don't cry unamwambia wanaume huwa hawali keep quiet tulia big boys don't cry wanaume ama wavulana wakubwa hawali every man fears the tears of a woman na kila mwanamume anaogopa machozi ya mwanamke are you listening to me amen When a woman comes to you and she's looking for counsel. Mwanamke akija kwako na anataka umpe ushauri. I don't like talking to people for a long time. Mimi huwa sipendi kuzungumzia watu kipindi kirefu. I like giving people solutions immediately. Huwa napenda kumpa mtu suluhisho mara moja. But now when a woman cries you feel like you need to listen to her. Lakini mwanamke akilia unasikia ni vizuri umsikize. Because naturally within them. Maana kikawaida ndani yao power wana nguvu to influence you za kuweza kukuathiri becoming a person of influence wewe kuwa mtu wa kuathiri ama mtu somebody said the force of influence nguvu ya kuathiri because i'm standing on this altar maana ninasimama kwa haya madhabahu and i'm speaking this message on this altar na ninanena ujumbe huu kwa haya madhabahu this altar is also shifting haya madhabahu pia yanahamishwa from favor kutoka kwa kibali to influence yaanze kuathiri na kugusa hey. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, I feel it now. Ninaanza kusikia. Lift up your hand before I begin to preach. Inua mkono kabla nianze kuhubiri. Say I'm shifting. Sema nina hama. I cannot hear you. I am shifting. I can't hear you. I am shifting. I want to hear somebody watching us on this telecast. Yeyote anayetutizama kwa TV. Let's speak with them together. I'm shifting. I'm shifting. Those of you who are watching us on Facebook live, Wana join us. Facebook. Hey, let's go. I am. I am shifting. I'm shifting. I'm shifting from favor. From favor to influence. To influence. Do you Amen. believe it? Amen. Now after this day no nation will close for you. Baada ya ya ujumbe huu hakuna taifa litafungika kwako. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to go to the book of Luke chapter 21. Nataka tusome kitabu cha Luka sura ya 21. Verse 15. Mstari wake wa 15. And Jesus is about to go to heaven. Na Yesu wakati yako karibu kwenda mbinguni. And we all understand that the last words of a man are the most important words. Ya kwamba maneno ya mtu ya mwisho huwa ni maneno ya muhimu. We want to hear what the man spoke last before he left. Ungetaka kusikia mtu alisema nini mwisho kabla hajaondoka. Jesus said. Yesu akasema for I will give you a mouth. Kwa sababu mimi nitawapa kinywa and wisdom na hekima 
which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. Anyway, before I explain that to you, I want also to appreciate the excellence in this ministry. I love class. I love class. Class. And I'm already pleased by what I'm seeing. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's clap for the excellence in this church. Hallelujah. Amen. And the levels of honor that you have. May God continue to lift this work. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Give me my, back my scripture, please. Let's read it together. Every lady and gentleman, read. For I will, For I will give, give you a mouth, a mouth and, and wisdom, wisdom which, which all, all your adversaries, adversaries will not, not be, be able, able to, to contradict, contradict or, resist. or resist. Amen. Can somebody say I'm unresistible? I am unresistible. Tell your neighbor, you cannot resist me after this session. Amen. 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 Jesus is speaking there. Yes, anazungumza. What he calls a mouse. Na it is influence. It is simply saying, I want to give your mouth before I leave. That not even your enemies will be able to withstand. They cannot contradict. They cannot resist. Let me define influence for you. The dictionary Sasa na defines influence huku kuathiri, as the power ni ile nguvu to have an effect on people ya wewe kuwa na mamlaka juu ya watu or things. Ama juu ya vitu. You have an effect on people Unakuwa na nguvu juu ya that watu. is the power to have an effect on people. Unakuwa na uweza juu ya watu. Are you listening? Amen. Or things. Money is a thing. When you have influence, you have power over money. When you have influence, you have an effect on people. When you walk, you receive before you ask. This is the day you will start walking in places. And before you ask for something, they will look at you and say, what do you need? Because now you have the power to have an effect on things and people. Webster Dictionary defines influence as the power Ya kwamba ni nguvu to cause changes za kusababisha mabadiliko without directing forcing them to happen bila kulazimisha mabadiliko yatendeke I like that definition Mimi napenda hiyo tafsiri the power to cause changes wewe kuwa na nguvu za kusababisha mabadiliko without directly forcing them to happen ha in other words, you're no longer going to force people to do things. Because you have the mantle of influence. You will cause changes to happen without directly involving yourself. You need to know. Sasa there are kutua. two levels of answered prayer. Kuna viwango viwili vya majibu ya maombi. The first level is ask and you shall receive. Kiwango cha kwamba omba nawe utapewa. Most people are on that level. Watu wengi tuko hicho kiwango. But there is a higher level. Lakini kuna kiwango cha juu zaidi. In the Bible it says. Katika Biblia inasema. Before they call I will answer. Hata kabla hawajaita nitaitika. While well, they are yet to speak Na hata I will say here I am. Hawajazungumza People who have reached that dimension. Wale there are people who have influence in the heaven. Wale watu wana gusa 
mbingu. Even our prayers. Hata maombi yetu. Don't move at the same frequency. Hayaendi kwa masafa sawa sawa. Even our prayers. Maombi yetu. Don't move God at the same dimension. Hayamguzi Mungu kwa njia moja. There are people who pray. Kuna watu wakiomba. And God continues looking at his files. Mungu anaendelea kuangalia faili zake. There are others who pray. Kuna wengine wakiomba. And God stops what he's doing and Mungu anawacha kile kwanza alikuwa anafanya. Because they have influence. Maana wao wana athiri. In the presence of God. Mbele za Mungu. The Bible speaks in Ezekiel. Biblia inasema katika Ezekiel. When God was about to judge Israel. Wakati Mungu alikuwa karibu kuhukumu Israeli. And he picks three men. Akachagua watu watatu. And these are the words he spoke about them. Haya ndio maneno alisema juu yao. I'm going to punish you Israel. Ya kwamba Israeli katika kuwapiga. Even if these three men. Hata kama hawa watu watatu. Were the ones talking to me. Wao ndio wananizungumzia. And he mentions them. Na akawataja. The three men who had influence. Wao watu watatu that when he they speak he listens wakisema anasikia number 1 was noah wa kwanza ni nuhu number 2 was job wa pili ni ayubu the third man is daniel wa tatu ni daniel he says even if those three men anasema hata hawa watu watatu are the talking to me kama ndio wananiambia in other words kwa maneno mengine this man had influence with god Hawa watu wanamgusa Mungu that when they spoke to God Ya kwamba wamwambie Mungu neno He had to change his mind Lazima abadilishe nia After this meeting Baada ya mkutano huu May your prayers have influence Maombi yako yawe yakugusa Before Jehovah God Mbele ya Jehovah Mungu That when you speak ukizungumza He stops what he's doing Anawacha kile alikuwa anafanya And he says come on let me listen to this Na anakuambia wacha nikusikize Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. The prayers that I will make on this altar today. Maombi nitakayoomba kwa haya madhabahu leo. They will be answered in Jesus name. Yatajibiwa kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Hey. Amen. We don't move things at the same level. Maana mambo yetu hayafanyiki kwa viwango vinavyofanana. Tell your neighbor we are in the same book. Ni ukweli tuko kwa kitabu kimoja. But on different pages. Lakini kurasa tofauti. We are not all on the same page. Sisi sote hatuko ukurasa moja. There are men who speak. Kuna watu wakizungumza. And their word moves like lightning. Neno lao linaenda mbio kama rani. What has happened to such men? Na kile kinatendeka kwa watu they kama hao. They operate not under favor. Ya kwamba wamekuwa kwa wote kwa kibali. Under the force. Hawako kwa kibali wako chini ya nguvu. Of influence. Ya kugusa. Woman listen to me today. Nisikize wewe dada leo. Not even your husband will understand you after today. Ya kwamba kwanza leo mume wako atakuelewa. Because the umbrella maana ufuniko of influence wa kujulikana is covering you right now. Unakufunika sasa. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Kutoka kichwani hadi mguuni. Amen. There are some things Kuna mambo that men didn't understand why women are, are doing them better than them. Ambayo wadada wa wanaume wanapaswa kujua wadada wanayafanya vizuri kuwaliko. And when I meet men I tell them. Mimi nikikutana na wanaume huwa nawaambia. Because they have already moved ahead of you. Maana tayari wamewatangulia. God brought them on earth with influence. Mungu akiwaleta duniani aliwapa nguvu za kugusa. A woman can bring a nation down. Mwanamke anaweza angusha taifa. When she uses her influence negatively. Akitumia hiyo nguvu yake ya kugusa kwa njia ya kinyume. Are you listening? Amen. What Mordecai could not do. Kile Mordecai hangeweza kufanya. Esther did. Esther alifanya. Why? Kwa nini? Was she a higher spiritual authority? Ali, no. Akuwa na mamlaka makubwa. Ni ya kwamba ndani yake. She had influence. Alikuwa na nguvu za kuweza kugusa. The Bible kukusa. says about Esther. Na Biblia inasema habari za because Esther. Because I told you already. Ya kwamba that influence causes you to make changes without forcing. Hiyo ni nguvu inafanya ulete mabadiliko bila kulazimisha. When Esther appeared before King Ahasuerus. Esther alipoenda mbele ya mfalme at a time when she was not invited. And that the Bible says. 
that when you are not invited you are supposed to die but the scripture says that when she stood in the doorway the king who is supposed to kill her he had to speak these words before she even spoke he said what do you want queen Esther because I'm willing to give you up to half of my kingdom she has not spoken yet she is already receiving half of the kingdom that is called non favor it is called a power to cause changes to happen without forcing them I feel the anointing already somebody in this room you will never be denied another day in the name of Jesus somebody in this room whenever you will enter before you open your mouth they will ask you what do you want whatever you need you will take out may you receive the force of influence I cover you with the power the power of influence somebody celebrate God today hallelujah Amen. Somebody shout, I'm receiving. I'm receiving the force of influence. Shout, I'm becoming a person of influence. May you enter nations and take over. May you enter islands and receive what you want. May you enter China and China bows down. Because you are no longer ordinary. You are shifting from favor to influence. Shout, I'm shifting from favor to influence. Hallelujah. Amen. May your house become a big house in this country. When they will be mentioning who owns Kenya, may your name feature prominently. I shift you. I came. I came. I came. I came from Uganda to shift you from favor to influence. Possess territories. Take over nations. Become the greatest thing in this country. Clap your hands everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout, I'm shifting. I'm shifting. Say it again. Nina Hama. Say it again. Nina Hama. Thank you for watching. We hope you've been blessed. This program continues tomorrow, same time. To get a copy of this whole sermon or any other on DVD, SMS or call 0710. Four four eight five seven zero. For prayers, call zero seven one nine seven two seven two seven two or zero seven two two six five six nine zero six. To partner with the Oracle Television Network, SMS or call zero seven zero zero six two zero three. Two six.